The key parts of overtaking on this track are in the corners. As you can see, for turn one, we're going around the outside, squeezing him in. And then for the second turn, we're going around the outside again, cutting in using all the track. Now you're going to need to be round this Mustang by the time you get to the chicane, otherwise overtaking is impossible. Getting the overtake done on this corner is a really, really good place to do it if you just cut inside. And then for the last corner, make sure you get your breaking point right, and then it's a drag race to the end. For the Le Mans 24 minute challenge, I purchased the Red Bull X 2019 competition car. I started with the racing softs and changed the anti-roll bars to one. Don't forget to also purchase wet tyres for this as well. If you don't have 3 million credits to spare, here are also some cheaper alternatives. I will also put a link in the description for a full list of cars that you can use. When you start this race make sure you change your fuel map to six just to extend your stint a little bit further as we're going to be pitting on lap three Skipping ahead to the end of lap one, as you can see we've made up a few places and we are currently just under 32 seconds to the leader. Now at the end of lap two, um, we've made up a few more places, closed the gap a little bit on the leaders, and as you can see, it's getting dark, and at this point, around lap three, the weather will change. We're about a third of the way around, and as you can see from the weather radar, we're expecting some moderate rain. I think it goes without saying but just be mindful when you're coming into braking zones on slicks when it's wet because you will have huge moments like this. It seems that the AI really struggle on corners, so as we're coming towards the end of lap 3 to come into the pit, we'll take some freebie overtakes.
So after our pit stop, I thought we had beat Campbell in the pit lane, but I guess not. I guess we'll just have to get the overtake done on track. Coming towards the end of lap 4 and we are now fast approaching the leader. We're now coming to the end of lap 5 and we have about 2 more laps to go so at this point we're going to need to start saving fuel as we currently have 1.8 laps remaining. At this point the AI is a lot faster than us so we're going to let them go so we can save fuel. It's not going to matter too much because they end up boxing at the end of this lap anyway. We're now coming to the end of lap 6 with a perfectly executed chicane. The AI behind us are going to box. The AI behind us are going to pit. The only person that we need to worry about is second place behind us and they come out about 15 seconds behind us. As we're approaching the finish line on our final lap, again with another perfectly executed chicane. The AI have caught up about seven and a half seconds, but we're going to come home for the win. the cone challenge I would advise staying in second gear just be extra mindful on the corners as it can be very easy to misjudge where your car is and miss one if you feel like you have missed one just use your rear view mirror and that will tell you whether you've missed one or not
for the acceleration challenge i would recommend purchasing the dodge srt tomahawk xv gt only because i used multiple different cars for the challenge and was unsuccessful you'll want to start in fifth gear this will allow you to get the most grip off the line For this pass challenge, I found it was easy to overtake the first car at the first corner. Getting a good exit out of that was vital in order to set yourself up for the next overtake. Breaking at 200 meters, you've got much more speed than any other of these cars, so there's no need to worry about not being able to catch them. Just avoid contact with them and avoid contact with the walls as well. For this drift mission you're going to want to chain your drift together. If you've ever played Need for Speed before you'll know what this is like. Aim your car towards the right hand side of the track, begin drifting left and then switch over. You're looking for around 2500 points in the first sector and you're aiming for around 3000 in the second sector. Obviously the more you get in the first sector gives you a bit more leeway in the second. For this one lap challenge, you should be a master at Le Mans due to the previous challenge that we've done. This final race is the most difficult one of all. It requires you to be near enough perfect for the entire race, but the premise of this is to get roughly one overtake per lap. The biggest time save you can have on this lap is the chicane here. 
you can go over it to save about two seconds per lap if you are able to do it perfectly. And as you'll see from the upcoming clips, I am not able to do it perfectly most of the time. So by the end of lap one, we've kept our current goal of making one overtake per lap. Let's see if we can do this chicane perfectly. Almost. So I didn't show it, but we did make up another place. There's two in two laps. And for Chicane Roulette, let's see how we do again. Not quite. It does get better though, I promise. On lap 4, we have caught up to a group of 3 cars in front. Let's see how we do on the Chicane. God. Terrible. But we've done an overtake, that's all that matters. We're now at the end of lap four, completed our overtake. We're just over a second to the next car in front, and it's going dark, which creates a whole new problem in itself. Overtaking as you're going up the hill can be quite problematic. Just trying to squeeze myself in between this GTR. Didn't quite work. But he made a mistake going into that wall, so I capitalised. It's time for Chicane Roulette again. Let's see how we do. worst one yet but that's two overtakes in one lap so that's all that matters the end of lap five we're in fifth place with quite a bit to the cars in front That is the last one of those that you will see. The rest of them from now on are perfect. Coming to the end of lap 6 and we throw our car up the inside for a cheeky overtake. Told you it gets better. You didn't believe me, did you? Now up into third place. 3.5 behind second place. I took that chicane a little bit slower because it was dark. 
Didn't want to risk ruining the race this close to the end. a little bit too soon there but we're now within touching distance of both cars. We're now onto the final lap, two places to make up so attempting to be a little more aggressive at turn one there, didn't quite pull off but we're going to go for the overtake towards turn two instead. One final gamble at Shikane Roulette. And of course, we smashed it. Did you even doubt me? All we need to do now, keep it on the track, bring it home for gold. So it just goes to show that even though I made a few mistakes, I did still win. You don't need to be 100% perfect. For earning bronze in all the missions, you will unlock a BRZ Subaru drift car. And for earning gold in all the challenges, you will unlock a 2J.